very happy. Well, she's she she'll start looking happy just for you. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. <laughs> I just he's got a smile and everything's just wonderful, peachy. I'm happy to see you as well. I'm glad to be here. Oh, totally peachy. Is it really wonderful? Well, now that you're here, it's wonderful. I know, exactly. That's what they expect, right, Charles? Syracuse, what? Some kind of something about, I don't smoke. I never have and never will. Um, I, Amber's in another part of the room, so I won't be sneaking her on camera. I am wearing some cool pants, I have to say. My pants match my sweater today. If you want to see my pants, is that it? That's my pants. I've got these orange, orange pants on. So they're pretty cool. There you go. They, they match my sweater. Is it wrong? Um, it's fine. Yeah. Merry Christmas to me. I thought it was, you know, wintry, so I decided to wear this neat, um, fall colored sweater once a week until, until Christmas season. It's more orange than red, but... If they look, I don't know why they look red and not orange. Oh, I think you want to change those to her and she. Yes, back, back pockets match. Uh, what? I live my own life, Malco. Yeah, you see random colors on this show. You... <laughs> oh, okay, abnormal. Yeah, well, I guess it's... I guess females can get away with wearing a whole lot more different things than men. That's why they have all these women's consignment shops, and I wish that they, they had um, men's consignment shops as well. I went to Western Washington University is where I went to... Um, but before that, I went to a community college. So Obama's going to give 5 million undocumented immigrants work permits and immunity from prosecution. This is Obama at his best. Ruining our country, its services, pushing them to the limit. Amazing. We're a couple hours from Vancouver. Yes, I do still teach. Always a teacher, always a student. U.S. considers use of ground troops against IS in Iraq. Okay, so their Secret Service blunders ease the way for the White House intruder that happened, I guess, whenever that was. I know 200... Cookie math is not necessarily the... Um, common core standard, but I think cookie math is just a better way for kids to understand long division. I love sugar too. All kinds of grades, Brett. I can teach all kinds of things. Oh, is that better? Now you think my smile is real? And U.S. Marshal Service reportedly gathering phone data. Oh, let me look at this. I don't know how to do that, 761. I don't think I'm... I don't know how to do that. So the U.S. Marshal Service is 
harvesting large amounts of data from American cell phones through devices mounted, mounted on airplanes in an effort to locate fugitives, according to two individuals familiar with the activity. The program operates Cessna aircrafts from at least five metro area airports and collects data from law-abiding Americans as well as criminal suspects, according to the Wall Street Journal, which first reported this story Thursday. According to the journal, the planes are equipped with two square foot devices, sometimes called dirt boxes, that mimic cell towers and trick cell phones into reporting their unique registration information and general location. Wow. Dirt boxes. The um, a department official who provided a statement on the condition of anonymity said discussion of sensitive law enforcement equipment and techniques would allow criminal defendants, criminal enterprises, or foreign powers to determine our capabilities and limitations in this area in deploying any such equipment or tactics are federal law enforcement agencies comply with federal law, including by seeking court approval. Okay. I have never made fun of people, and it, I've never made fun of people. I merely imitate people, and I would like you to, to refer to me as an imitator. Thank you. Dirt box sounds so uncouth, yeah. A two-foot square device sitting in a plane, picking up cell phone information, mimicking cell phone towers, tricking cell phones. An imitator. I'm a, I'm a professional imitator. That's right. A voiceover artist. I do voiceover impersonations. Thank you. I haven't heard Mr. Rogers in a while. I know it's the only song that really picks Sarah up and makes her, you know, feel positive in the show. So let's bring on Mr. Rogers. I mean, I don't want to hold you back, guys. There's no need to, to say, hey, you know, let's bring him on. Bring it, Mr. Rogers. Hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Welcome again to this neighborhood. I'd like to show you something. Show you, you know something. what this is? Maybe if I press this button. This is a cassette player with a little cassette in here. And there's nothing written on it, so we'll just have to play it to see what it is. Do you ever imagine things? Are they scary things? Are they scary things? Do you ever imagine things? Things you'd like to have. Did you ever see a cat's eyes in the dark and wonder what they were? What they were? Did you ever pretend? Mr. Rogers segment. No, that's okay. No, 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 no. Keep it on. No, no, no. I can't. I want. I want to focus. I'm working overtime right now. Are you? Oh, you are really. We we uh. You doing overtime at work? Yeah, my Obama wig did not malfunction. The net effect was the Oompa Loompa effect. I tried to go for Oompa Loompa. Somebody else is trying to fill in. Hang on. Hang on, Shrek. Hold on. Mr. Rogers, is that you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, can I help you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we had our, our, our lines. Okay, are you calling on two phone track? Okay. Are you calling? No, I'm no. not. Okay. Hang on. We got the worst legislature in California history. Uh, candidate with a felony indictment wins re-election by a landslide, then gets convicted for a misdemeanor three days later. This is the level of corruption we've got, folks, in our country. Thanks for that link. It's unparalleled how these people are able to slip back into, into government operations and become the crooks that they are. 
candidate with felony conviction indictment. Let's take a look here. Democratic Texas State 